Hi, I'm Ray Gester with Chimney Sweeps International, and our topic today is chase covers. Uh, the chase cover is uh, the metal portion that goes over the top of the chimney. It covers the entire chimney chase. Inside of the chimney chase is a chimney liner and a timber framed chase. That's why they call it a chase cover. An interesting thing about chase covers is, is that it is meant to keep water from going down the chimney chase. It's a rather complex design. The chase cover, the chase cover is specified by building codes. And the building codes say that you need to have it done per manufacturer's instructions. Now that means you've got to look at your fireplace and find out what your manufacturer's saying. Now these manufacturers are getting smart and they found out that if you install these chase covers that I've been installing, uh, they are leaking. Uh, they're getting rusted, they're having problems. And what ends up happening is, is that the water leaks through the chase cover and it damages uh, the chimney liner, it damages the fire stop, it, sometimes it eats out the fire stop and it's completely missing. It, uh, it damages the timber members and the wood, especially near the fire stop. And even worse, it can hit the chimney liner, leak down the chimney liner and land on top of the firebox. And what ends up happening is, is that it rusts of the connection where the, the firebox and the a chimney liner comes up. And that ruins your entire prefabricated fireplace unit. So what is a perfect chase cover? Uh, a perfect chase cover, and even by building codes, has gotta be at least, it's four inches lap over the side of the chimney. And it also needs to have a drip edge. And what a drip edge does is, is that it flares out. So, so water that comes off the chase it drips off the chimney and doesn't leak down the vinyl siding or the siding of the chimney. Uh, a good chase cover is stainless steel. Our company only installs stainless steel. And why we only install stainless steel is, is because it doesn't rust. A chase cover, typically required by the manufacturer, needs cross breaks. It's a lot of these chase covers don't have cross breaks and the water hits it and it pulls on the top of it and then it just eats up the top of it and ends up rusting and eating out your uh, chimney and your chase cover. So let's say you've got yourself a rusted chase cover. You hire yourself a dumb contractor and what he does is, is that he'll go up there and he'll put metal facade over the outside of your chase cover so it looks good on the outside. You go down the street, you take a look at your chimney, you're like, wow, that's a very pretty chimney. The problem is, is that he's putting a Band-Aid on cancer. I mean, it's gonna end up killing you. It's gonna end up eating up your fireplace and you're gonna pay, instead of $1,200 to have a new chase cover put on, you're gonna end up paying $8,000 to have a whole new prefabricated fireplace. Taking metal facade and putting it on the side is not a fix. And now there are other contractors who will go and they'll be like, I'll fix it. I'm gonna spray the top of your chimney. You know, I can use this stuff and it turns uh, rust into metal and all that other stuff and you won't have a problem. The problem is, is that it lasts about two or three months and then it comes back and it eats through your chase cover again and you've got the same problem and you end up, you end up buying a whole new fireplace. So what happens if a chase cover goes bad? Your chase cover leaks and it ends up ruining your fireplace. And then you have two options. It's option number one is, is to take the fireplace completely out, take the chase cover out, replace all of it, get a whole new system. It's about $8,000. Your other option is, is to take out the top of your chimney, put a big tag in there that says, uh, do not use, it's been capped at the top, take the damper and close it permanently, and then you, uh, you cover over the top of it. The problem with that is, is that now you've lost about $10,000 in value of your home because you have an inoperable fireplace. So here's what you need to do. Just get a chase cover installed. Here's how to install a proper chase cover. And one is, is you've got to measure it perfectly. The problem a lot of contractors have is, is that they don't know how to properly measure a chase cover. They'll sometimes measure the existing chase cover the existing chase cover might not be installed properly. And you might need to take the chase cover off, add wood to the sides, and have the new chase cover go over top and go over the vinyl siding. If you install an identical chase cover, it's gonna have the same problem as it had earlier. 
So let's just assume that you're installing a proper chase cover. My advice is install stainless steel. It only costs about $100 more to have stainless steel. It's why don't you just get stainless steel? If you get galvanized, it's gonna be a problem. Just get stainless steel. Uh, the cost is all the labor costs. It's not the cost of the, of the chimney chase cover itself. Another item is, is you've gotta have cross breaks. Very important. If you don't have cross breaks on it, uh, the water's not gonna go over the sides. As it does go over the sides and it goes over the vinyl siding, make sure you've got a flare drip edge. Uh, that drip edge allows water to kind of shoot off the side so it doesn't drip down your vinyl siding. The third most important thing is, is your whole diameter of your chase cover. Very tricky. I mean, there's, there's many chase covers I've seen uh, that have been mismeasured. The whole diameter itself, it's gotta be about a quarter inch bigger than your liner on each side. So that way it's just a very small, tight, tight window. If you mismeasure it too small, chase cover's gone, you gotta take it back. You make it too big and now you've got yourself a loose pipe that's banging around. So you wanna get it pretty tight, but not too tight. And then you're gonna put a storm collar over around it and then seal it up properly. Installing chase covers can be tricky, but it's very valuable and I highly recommend it. Another issue with chase covers is a brick type of facade prefabricated chimney. They are the worst. A lot of them don't have, uh, have weep holes that they should have. A lot of them leak. A lot of them have issues and they lean and they end up, uh, they end up collapsing. It looks great on the outside, but you should not have a brick facade chimney because the water comes in and it starts eating out the interior portions of the timber structure. But let's just assume that you do have one and it hasn't failed. The only thing bad is a chase cover. The problem with the chase cover is a lot of people, a lot of these construction contractors don't realize that the, the chase cover has got to go over all the brick and it has to have a drip edge that flares out and it's got to have cross breaks going in there. So if you have a chase cover that leaks inside of a brick chimney, now it will damage the interior portions of the timber structure and you've got this big heavy brick that's kind of holding on the side and what can happen is, is you can have a collapse. So if you do have a, a brick facade prefabricated chimney, you've got to pay special attention. Two, you can't really bolt these prefabricated chase covers on these brick chimneys because it, it just doesn't bolt very well. You've got to measure them precisely and then what you're going to do is, is you're going to glue them to the sides of the chimney and the top of the chimney. And that way it's held firm and secure. A pet peeve I have of chase covers is that contractors will go and actually order a, a chase cover that is stainless steel. And they'll place a stainless steel chase cover on top of the chimney and then they'll nail them in using galvanized nails. Chase cover doesn't rust, however those nails rust. <laughs> and then you have nails that rusts down this, I mean, beautiful stainless steel chase cover and it looks terrible. To have your contractor install stainless steel bolts inside the chase cover, that way it properly attaches it and then it won't rust. Another tip, as you install your chase cover, you might have an existing cap or you might need a new prefabricated chimney cap because these chimney caps have got to attach somehow to either the chase cover or they're gonna uh, attach to the liner. Sometimes these chase covers and chimney caps are just kind of independent and it's hard to attach them. So keep that in mind as you're installing a new chase cover. You might need a new chimney cap because it might be difficult to install the chimney cap to the new chase cover. Here's another problem with chimney chase covers. So let's say you have a rusted chimney chase cover. The contractor comes out and says, I'm just gonna paint it. I'm gonna have galvanized paint. And actually, I've been in business 20 years, and the first few years of business, I thought that was right. Uh, it turns rust into metal, and you just paint it, and it's great. The problem is, is that, let me tell you a story. I have a customer who had one of our technicians go out and refurbish a chase cover. That means to paint it, it's using rust-oleum paint. So the, they, they sprayed it, all the rust, it looked perfect, everything was great. It's about three months later, 
uh, the uh, customer called me up and said, hey, your technician didn't spray our chase cover. They acted like they sprayed it, but they didn't. Here's pictures, because I was having my roof fixed. And so I took a look at the uh, chase cover and I was like, yeah, he didn't do it. And I was extremely upset. I was so upset I was almost gonna fire my technician. Prior to getting upset, I decided I would look through the photos of the inspection that they did in the first place, I mean, as he did that repair. Hold up the photos, I look at the chase cover, looked great. Had it all sprayed, it looked all white, it was perfect. And in three months time, the chase cover rust had gone up through that paint and started eating it out again. From that day on, I have never painted another chase cover.